so as we have already understood these coefficients are the maximum deviations caused by different kind of rods the imaginary rods remember this one point very clearly that these imaginary rods are a combination the result of a combination of permanent and induced magnetism jahaz mein dono magnetism hum compass ke paas mein dekh rahe hain ki kya effect so overall effect is what we are looking at compass ke samne kitna hai hum mere khayal se pehle bhi humne repeat kiya is baat ko that we are not going pillar to post finding out kiska kitna magnetism we just see how much is the effect at the compass which is a combination of the permanent magnetism and the induced magnet we have also understood that permanent magnetism has got three components p q r similarly there are various kind of soft ions on board ship which may produce different kind of effects some vertical soft iron some horizontal aqua shape some horizontal forward up again matching with pqr so these are the three planes in which the magnetism can act on the compass either at the compass forward aft aligned magnet or aqua shape aligned or vertical aligned so teen ye planes hain aur in teen plane mein teen tarike ke rods ho sakte hain i have a question to ask you to check your understanding when we say the rod is positive or the rod is negative out of this nine things that we have talked about nine rods when we say the rod is positive or the rod is negative what is the meaning of this positive and negative any idea it's all right if you go wrong no no issue with all it's about the alignment of the rods no alignment mein to humne dekha vertical hai to bhi positive hoti hai atvashik hota hai to bhi positive negative hota hai forward aft hoti hai to bhi positive negative hota hai so alignment ka to chakkar nahi dikhta ye sir the magnetism will be the induced magnetism will be sterling uh not easterly western so the di direction in which uh, the compass turns for the rod so easterly so it goes positive westerly goes negative uh okay it's go east west mai nahi okay let us see if we uh, we are catching the point if it is positive rod the magnetic field due to the ship's magnetism is making the compass to the north only maan lijiye north ki taraf h hai aur ship ka magnetism is like this so this and this will add up to this correct if it is acting towards this this and this will reduce the total force or directive force so basically the positive and negative is that one is acting towards the north positive and the one is acting towards south that means the directive force if getting added up one way or the other towards the north then it is positive basically if it is towards the south then it is negative so negative produces negative results in the sense it reduces the directive force positive rod increases the directive one way or the other shall we do this on the board yes sir uh, kyunki the last time tha humne ye bhi dekha tha disturbing field aur uska hnf ka factor dekha tha jab coefficient a ka dekha tha to usme negative directive force nahi dekha tha ha exactly so something of that sort what we said negative positive jo humne baat kiya hai easterly aur westerly ke terms mein that is about the deviation that when it is going easterly it is positive deviation when it is going westerly it is positive negative deviation that is negative positive but how we are getting this it may be 
both the positive rods which are leading up to adding to the earth's magnetic field which is basically if the ships magnetic field is acting towards the north either this side this side this side may be causing easterly or westerly these are all positive if it is acting southwards then it is negative it is reducing the directive force understood board pe dekhte hain yes is cheez ko board pe dekh lete hain check it out Board visible. Suppose this is Earth's magnetic field, which is H, and the ship's magnetic field is something like this. So we know now that the resultant will be this, which is the result of these two. Is this more than this? H se jada hai directive force ya nahi? the magnetic field or magnetic needle is going to point like this which is the resultant of h and disturbing force f the directive force in this direction is it more than this or not of course causing deviation deviation cause kar raha but is it more than this or not h se zyada hai ya nahi zyada hai sir easterly yes sir zyada so, anything that produces this result is positive rod supposing there is another field ships magnetic field is acting in this direction or let us say in this direction for clarity so the resultant will be this or not yes sir so is it reduced is it less than this this is also producing deviation but this magnetic field uh, sorry this effect being produced by the rods is because of minus rod if the rod is causing reduction of the h is negative if it is adding to this then the rod is positive are we good मैग्नेटिक रॉड विच इज कॉजिंग दिस डिस्टर्बिंग फोर्स so the net resultant directive force will be done by this parallelogram method here the directive force is like this the compass needle will settle here again the same deviation but is it less than this h se df is less or not yes sir so this rod the rod which is producing this effect is the negative rod the negative rods reduce the directive force the positive rods positive rods increase the directive force see it on the other side if it is south westerly dekh lijiye this reduces the directive force the southerly rod or the field which is opposite to the earth's magnetic field these are opposite to earth's magnetic field any southerly course a southerly effect is negative rod and anything positive is going to be more than this this will be adding any northerly field basically what we are trying to say that there is a force like this h agar कुछ दूसरा भी इसको ऐड करता है तो ये पॉजिटिव है अगर इसको नेगेटिव नेगेट करता है तो नेगेटिव है सिंपल एज दैट
इस केस में टोटल इतना हो जाएगा इस केस में इतना हो जाएगा इज इट ओके ओके लगता है कुछ कंफ्यूजन है अनदर अटेम्प्ट इफ द शिप इज लाइक दिस एच इन दिस डायरेक्शन इफ द अर्थ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड इज समथिंग लाइक सॉरी शिप्स मैग्नेटिक फील्ड इज समथिंग लाइक दिस वेयर दिस एंड इज नेगेटिव एंड दिस एंड इज पॉजिटिव केस नंबर वन एंड अदर केस when it is like this when the negative is here and the positive is here or the red pole is here we already know that the blue pole is up here earth ka blue pole is here red is here that means the lines of forces are going like this so h is like this in this case this will be going like this or not jo jahaz ke magnetism ka directive force is it like this or not yes sir yes sir yes positive to negative in this case the jahaz ka magnetic field is like this or not yes sir so what do you see the relationship between this and this and this and this the resultant in these two cases what will happen let us say case 1 case 2 this case mein agar this was the this was the h is case mein h ka kya hoga badhega ya ghatega badhega sir 2 mein badhega ek mein number 1 mein ghatega na ek एक एक इधर को है दूसरा वापस है उल्टा है तो नेट रिजल्ट इन वन केस विल बी समथिंग लाइक दिस केस नंबर वन बी एफ विल बी दिस मच केस नंबर टू इफ वी से दिस वन इज लाइक दिस दिस इज ऑल्सो लाइक दिस तो दिस विल एड अप केस नंबर टू इट विल एड अप सो दिस इज केस नंबर टू विच विल एड अप is all because of positive rods all because of negative rods which is opposite causing opposite field are we good now this polarity of the rods can be created by any kind of situation whether vertical horizontal or what shape this way that way nine rods will produce either this effect or this effect either this effect or this effect ya to pole h ke sath hoga magnetic field of the ship maybe it is either with the h or it is against h so this was the case minus which is in this case and this was the case positive theek hai yes sir yes sir okay. so invariably just for clearing the concepts basically when you have this rod positive ultimate result is that you are going to have a blue pole you are going to have blue pole forward and the red pole aft in all the cases of negative rods you are going to have this field blue pole here and the red pole here now this can come about by either this rod this rod this vertical rod maybe forward aft of the compass anything any all the nine can produce either this all the nine can produce either this all right when she is getting built she will be either north hemisphere or south hemisphere 
heading maybe northerly or southerly when ship is getting built she is in the northern hemisphere maybe heading northerly maybe heading southerly or maybe she is getting built in south hemisphere heading like this so we have already seen that the earth's magnetic field is like this if she is getting built with northerly heading in the north hemisphere or if she is getting built with in southerly hemisphere north heading so ye wala dono case abhi humne dekha ki north hemisphere mein sorry uh, north 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 heading north hai dono ha ah, south ye dono case humne dekha dono hi case mein heading is northerly और दोनों ही केस में नो ठीक है यहां पे नाउ व्हेन द शिप मैग्नेट इज मेड हियर बिकॉज ऑफ एच वी नो दैट फॉरवर्ड विल बी लाइक दिस फॉरवर्ड विल बी लाइक दिस फॉरवर्ड एंड विल बिकम सो व्हाट इज दिस केस यू आर सीइंग इज इट प्लस बी और माइनस बी परमानेंट मैग्नेटिज्म वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट राइट नाउ Sir, red is forward, so it should be minus. Minus B. Minus. Exactly. Exactly. If the ship was getting built with southerly heading, then stern is having blue or sorry, red. Red. The stern is having red. कंपास के पीछे कंपास के पीछे सो दिस इज द फोर्स पी दैट वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट ऑल्सो दे आर आर सॉफ्ट आयरन विच आर वर्टिकल हेयर विच आर वर्टिकल हेयर एंड देर आर हॉरिजोंटल रॉड्स लाइक दिस ऑन द शेप द हॉरिजोंटल रॉड्स फॉरवर्ड ऑफ दिस विल बिकम रेड लाइक दिस एंड दिस विल बिकम ब्लू जो पीछे में होएगा उसमें ये रेड ये ब्लू यस सर करेक्ट सो ये उल्टा प्रोड्यूस करेगा इट विल बी पॉजिटिव सो व्हाट वी आर सेइंग बिकॉज ऑफ द हेडिंग्स बिकॉज ऑफ द लैटी सॉरी द हेमिस्फेयर वेर शी इज गेटिंग बिल्ड these comp forces will be changing now jo soft iron hai that will keep on changing as the ship is going from place to place but the permanent magnetism will remain same so just for once read the <clears throat> definition part what are the causes of p coefficients Just read it for you, sir. now we take a case of this to understand the first part let us say the blue pole forward of the ship that means we are talking about positive b compass is here blue pole is here compass red pole will be at this place the earth's magnetic field will be x the ship's magnetic field will be like this so the resultant will be what if the h is this much and the ship's magnetic field is this much the resultant is going to be this or not yes sir so df directive force is maximum 
deviation yes. nail yes this is we are discussing about permanent magnetism when she is going on this course the blue pole forward compass is here the red pole here is she going to get attracted to this or not one h here this field acting in this direction so acting in this direction f is acting here so the resultant will be this or not deviation created will be easterly easterly Easter. very good df is reduced or increased 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 sir very good when she is going in this direction right in this direction blue pole forward compass here red pole at this place deviation maximum correct Yes, sir. Directive four will maximum sine nine. DF DF will have no effect. Why? Because H is here. This is here. So same H will remain same. Directive four will remain same. When she is going on this course, in the cardinal south easterly now, the blue pole forward, compass here, red pole at this place. So, is this going to push this end? Because blue pole here, blue pole here. So, again, deviation will be easterly. df is now reduced why because h here this is acting in this direction so this is less than h df is reduced now when going this way compass like this the red pole here blue pole here h is like this the stabbing force is opposite now will ulat gaya ya nahi yes sir df minimum so this will be reduced to this df will be the deviation will be how much nil but df will be minimum when she is going on this course is everybody following is there any problem ladies and gentlemen all okay the blue pole forward here compass here like this now the red pole here no sorry the red pole here and the blue pole here what is going to happen between this interaction So the red will move towards the left towards the left that means deviation will become westerly is that correct and value will be less df will be less on this course the blue pole forward here compass like this again the same thing deviation is 
मैक्सिमम एंड वेस्टर्ली यहां पे ये स्टर्ली भी है ई एफ नो इफेक्ट नो इफेक्ट सिमिलरली यू कैन फाइंड आउट द सिचुएशन हेयर ब्लू पोल फॉरवर्ड कंपास हेयर रेड पोल हेयर राइट डाउन द नोट फॉर दिस सबके साथ था Are we good? Yes. So as you can see here, on all these easterly headings, this is easterly, easterly, easterly. On these two points, no deviation, and all this side, all. westerly head deviation westerly maximum westerly nothing nothing this error or this deviation is semi circular because for this part one side for this part another type is taraf westerly hai to idhar westerly i would like you to make a diagram for minus d u to uh minus permanent d make a diagram for this in the similar fashion सर माइनस बी के केस में जो शिप का फॉरवर्ड होगा वो रेड पोल होगा सर यस माइनस बी क्यों होगा बिकॉज द मैग्नेटिक फील्ड ऑफ द शिप इज एक्टिंग अगेंस्ट द एच अगर ये एच इधर है तो शिप का मैग्नेटिक फील्ड उल्टा होएगा यहाँ पे फॉरवर्ड में था तो ये एडेप्ट कर रहा था ना यस yes. तो यहाँ पे ब्लू पोल आफ्ट में हो जाएगा शिप का ब्लू पोल इज हेयर एंड द फॉरवर्ड वेपन फॉरवर्ड विल बी रेड
with your reason and logic make this diagram see what is happening to that uh, deviation and direct uh, directive force Are you done? Happy? All right. So, I sir, side me mita raho thoda. As we can see here, that if we take the courses, easterly course and westerly course. We start from north point, course is north, then we go northeast, we go east, we go like this. What we are saying that deviation is nil at zero degrees. When we go northeast, it is increasing at 90 degree maximum, then it is reducing, coming to this. Then for the westerly courses, when we go west, the deviation is happening like this. So deviation is easterly here, northeasterly here, northeasterly here, and no, sorry, southeasterly here, and zero here. So from north to south to north, when we complete a cycle, we are seeing that zero to maximum to zero to maximum ulta minus maximum and then zero. Is this change of the deviation taking place as sign of the course zero degree course zero 90 degree maximum 180 degrees zero 270 course 270 is how much maximum but on the negative side on the ultra side. Remember, this is positive deviation easterly, this is negative de deviation westerly. So this deviation is a function of the sign of the course. Whatever maximum is to be there, 5 degree ho, to 5 degree ka function sine theta pe chalega, sine cor course pe chalega. 6 degree hai to 6 degree ke hisaab se, 6 degree sine course pe chalega. 3 degrees hai to 3 degree sign force pe chalega. Whatever the maximum value that will oscillate between this plus maximum to minus maximum when the ship is doing various kind of courses. Basically, when we do the correction of deviations 
by compass adjustment our aim is to make this curve like this so that there is minimum of error at 90 degree and 270 degree either minimum or basically zero whatever action is taken to eliminate the deviations or eliminate the deviation due to p our aim is basically to reduce this maximum value when it goes maximum at 90 degree and 270 uh, 270 degrees since it is the sign of the course there is another thing that we have to look at effect of latitude on pb <clears throat> now as we have already seen that the directive force is h and we have a deviation because of b maybe this side or maybe this side depending on whether it is plus b or minus b when we come to let us say equator this is maximum h is maximum on equator and this is force p due to permanent magnet for an arc which is fixed but since we are on equator and it is maximum when we go to upper latitudes this will reduce to a smaller value or not higher latitudes yes sir okay so yes. when on equator the deviation was this much when we are going up in the latitude this is remaining fixed the pb is remaining fixed that means this is remaining fixed but this has reduced so what is happening this was the deviation earlier now the deviation is this much what is your observation here the deviation is increasing deviation has increased that means there is definitely effect of latitude on the deviation caused by forward aft iron or forward aft component of the permanent magnetism which is force p that means deviation is proportional to h or rather inversely proportional to h h jada so deviation kam h jada so deviation kam h kam so deviation jada and we know already that it is the function of the sine of the course so this can be turned into an understanding that deviation 2 yahan pe deviation 1 2 ho gaya tha so deviation 2 by deviation 1 is equal to h 1 by h 2 into uh sin of force 1 by sin force 2 this course is of course compass course is yes, we can write here comp
So in the nutshell, what we can say that deviation due to PD is equal to PD into fine com force. Only due to PB, permanent magnetism picture. If permanent magnetism is zero, hai, to deviation due to PB will be zero. Then only the induced permanent uh, induced magnetism will remain. Uska hum alag se study karenge. Right now we are talking about PB. PB agar X hai, to X sign course hoega hamesha. 0 degree pe 0, 90 degree pe maximum, 180 pe 0, 270 pe maximum. Agar deviation ko humne is coefficient ko 0 kar diya, ya force P ko 0 kar diya, then we are going to have no deviation because of force P. Right? Is So, our aim, as we said, is to bring this to zero value. Agar zero kar denge, to deviation jo ho hai, PP ke chalte, that will become zero all the time. Zero multiplied by any course is zero. So, how do we make the correction? How do we do this? We are looking at the side view of the ship. Let us say north is this side, south is this side. We are standing on the east of the vessel. Starboard side of the vessel, which is the east side of the vessel. We are taking a look at that. The compass is here somewhere. The magnetic lines of forces are running like this from the red end that is the south to the blue end which is the geographic north the permanent b of the shape is like this where there may be the red end forward or maybe there is a blue end forward We have seen plus B and minus B. So the compass is supposed to be operated only by this H, Earth's magnetic field. But this, this here is creating a field like this. Is that correct? Adding to this or subtracting to this. In this case, in this case, the magnetic lines of forces are of the shape are going in this direction or not? The red pole forward. Yes, sir. My, this is decreasing the effect. Decreasing the effect. Yes. Directed force ko reduce to kar hai. What we do, we place a small magnet here below the compass in such a way that it is going to negate the effect of this. That means we need to have a magnet under the permanent magnet, under the compass with a pole forward. This will have an opposite effect or not? Yes, sir. So what we do basically, I'm side say the compass binacle ko. The compass is here. Iske niche mein forward aft mein hum character magnets dalte. Shape mein we have already seen this case 
where there is red pole forward and the magnetic lines of forces are coming like this trying to disturb this on different headings differently only north and south south and north forces pay it is not happening happening but any other easterly or westerly forces it is getting affected already studied now so we want to eliminate those kind of effect so what we do we place a magnet here which is in opposite direction this is going to be acting in this manner so ek idhar ko aa raha hai force p ke chalte ek idhar ko humne character se ek opposite field lagaya we can choose number of magnets so as to counter this agar strong magnet hoga to zyada lagega halki magnet hogi to kam lagenge number of rods we can have multiple rods placed in the forward aft direction to counter the effect of p force or force p of the ships permanent magnet are we getting somewhere yes sir so ye horizontal characters hain sir एग्जैक्टली यही है हॉरिजॉन्टल कैरेक्टर्स अरे क्या से किए बाहर एक मिनट रुकना बोलने सारे पेन टांग लिए हाथ में मैंने अगर आप बिनाकिल देखते हैं इफ यू लुक एट द बिनाकिल If you look at the binnacle, pen सूखने लगा इसमें forward aft में कुछ slots बनी होती है कुछ अथवाशिप direction में बने होते हैं हम इसी में magnets insert करते हैं अथवाशिप किसी और coefficient को neutralize करने के लिए forward aft इस b को neutralize करने के लिए Then we have also vertical magnets placed in a bucket. that is for healing error for vertical magnets also so this is healing error character this is athwarship character this is forward aft char characters the diagram not looking very nice here because we are trying to make 2d i mean 3d on the board okay so Uh, we are running short of time, but just talking about this, the induced B. What are the causes of induced B? Induced B is due to the vertical vertical rods at the compass. It can be like this, or can be like this. remember that the soft iron rods are on the ship which are getting magnetized by z so naturally as you can understand now that this will happen more towards the higher latitudes and less and less towards the equator because equator may z becomes zero as we go up in the latitude this becomes high जेड की वैल्यू बढ़ने लगती है तो जो इसमें इंड्यूस्ड मैग्नेटिज्म होगा वो हायर लैटिट्यूड्स पे ज्यादा होएगा और इक्वेटर पे जीरो होएगा। लुकिंग एट दिस लुकिंग एट दिस यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड फ्रॉम द टॉप अगर टॉप व्यू रखें तो ये वाली एंड जो है इट इज फॉरवर्ड ऑफ दिस so there will be a pole forward created there will be a pole aft created 
or same way again there can be a pole forward created and aft another one created now which one is red and which one is blue tell me the situation when this should be red and this should be blue kab ye case hoega pehle ye bataiye fir ulta case bataiye remember that when on the earth the ship was here facing forward there was this t coming which was broken down into horizontal and vertical component so in this case the vertical rods will acquire a magnetism which is red pole top and blue pole here because of z is that correct or not sir in, in this case the where the magnetic lines of wood and enter it becomes blue and from where it comes out it, it should be red the magnetic field blue it is here or not sir we have sir. seen the horizontal one this becomes red the rear end toward the south becomes blue because the red of the earth is here so this end blue and this end red so when we have a t here the h is here in this case we are talking about the red end will be here the blue end will be here and this one the blue end will be here and the red end will be here or am i making a mistake uh ek bar aur bata diye sir how basically what we are seeing अभी हमने शिप के आ, यार ये भी तो सूख रहा है तेरा फ्रेंड शिप के वर्टिकल आयरन को हम देख रहे हैं कंपास इज हेयर द वर्टिकल आयरन इज हेयर लेटर से दिस वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन दैट व्हेन द शिप इज नॉर्दरली हेडिंग दिस वर्टिकल रॉड this end is uh okay this one and uh, this is red so this becomes blue here and this becomes red is that correct yes sir that's correct and jo horizontal wali hai usme this end becomes red and this becomes blue is that correct yes sir correct so the same situation goes that when the ship is here this and becomes red and this becomes blue because this red will be attracted to the blue of the earth yes sir theek hai na so similarly abhi time khatam ho gaya in fact we have uh, gone uh, five minutes over so we'll take it forward in the next class when we talk about this we'll talk about the induced b and we'll try to take a look at uh, the other coefficients as well what i'm suggesting that now that we have talked about this coefficients it just give you definitions of the other three will that be okay and we get to more solid uh, uh, you know problems of compass or the questions that we deal with क्योंकि yes, एक क्लास में देखो काफी टाइम लगता है यस yes, तो हम लोग डीईएफ के बारे में मोटी मोटी बात लिख लेंगे नाउ दैट विद अंडरस्टैंडिंग यू कैन मेक योर ओन स्टडी अगर कुछ प्रॉब्लम होगी तो बात करेंगे ऑफ कोर्स
बट विल ट्राई कि डी सी डी के बारे में कम से कम मोटी मोटी बात लिखवा दें वॉट आर दॉजेज विच सॉफ्ट आयरन विच मैग्नेट परमानेंट मैग्नेटिज्म एंड देन वी ट्राई टू यू नो गो ऑन टू सम अदर टॉपिक्स इन द सेम थिंग ठीक है ओके सर ओके सर All right then bye bye signing off signing off bye 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 sir thank you